Is my mom here yet? I don't see any, I don't see no rainbow. Yeah, we can we can we can park somewhere around. I don't see that. So yeah, so I know it, it probably caught y'all off guard. Like, where did this come from? Because we never heard about that. Well, if you if you if you've been a fan of mine, if you've been following me. And you've seen this so many pictures on Google of me at wrestling matches. One of my favorite pictures of me actually at a, at a wrestling match was actually at MSG, uh, Madison Square Garden. And rest in peace to sh Shad. There's a picture of me, him high-fiving. He walks right over to me and I'm front row and center. There's a picture of us actually like high-fiving each other, which means a lot because he passed away, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, a, a crazy accident. And uh, so that picture means a lot to me. So yeah, man, this is something that's not left field. This ain't nothing that's uh, far off or far fetched. Like all my boys, when I put it out there, they was like, we thought you probably would have been trying to do this earlier when you was going on the matches and they would, WWE would give you all these tickets and passes and all of this stuff. But you know, for me, it's always about reinventing yourself. It's all about what can I do next? What can I do that nobody's done before? What What's something that nobody accomplished? Everybody want to be the best rapper. Everybody want to be the best this. Everybody want to be the best that. I'm, my goals in life is I want to be the best me, but also I want to be the greatest entertainer of all time that ever lived. Even though I can rap, I can act, I can do all these things, but everybody's chasing the same thing, and everybody everybody can't be the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be the best at this, the best at that, but within your playing field, you can dominate and get busy, and that's what I'm doing. You know, so you know, don't knock me down on my dreams down. This shit is actually going down. So I haven't started my training yet. I will. Right after my birthday, <clears throat> I'm gonna take a trip for my birthday, and then I'm going right to California to go train. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I'm just really, really excited about what's to come, man. There's so many big things coming this year, man. I'm just really excited. So um, that's all I wanted, man. I didn't really want to take up too much y'all's time. I didn't really want nothing. My mom is late to lunch as usual, but uh, for me to you guys, I just wanted to come in here to talk to y'all about all the great things that we got coming up next, man. So much dope shit is on the way. So I just want to make sure y'all prepared. I want to make sure y'all know about it. And um, yeah, man, that, that, that's it. If y'all got any questions for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions while I'm sitting in this parking lot waiting on my mom. She is extremely <clears throat> on NT time. I think y'all know what I mean by that. When I say NT time, that's the type of time my mom is on right now. So, uh, yeah, so I hope that explained the WWE thing to a lot of y'all. And I and, and I, I saw like a lot of podcasters too, they wanna holler at me. I'm willing to listen, man. I'm willing to talk to anybody who's willing to talk to me. So, you know, like I said, I'm, it ain't nothing about it ain't nothing the wrestling culture and community can tell me about something that I love for over twenty years of my life. You know, I think a lot of people are gonna be shocked when it's time to talk wrestling with me, because my shit date back to the to the late eighties. I'm talking eighty eight, eighty nine. Back that way, so we on the way, man. You gotta think, man. I, like I look at before I answer your question real quick. I look at my. I always take me being being shot and not bow. So when I look at bow wow's accomplishments, it's like, damn, what haven't I done? And what have and, and what what needs to be done? So I look at my, my resume. I'm like, damn, I sold out MSG so many times. I, I lost count. I just dream to get to Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. I've done that. You know what I mean? I've toured all around the world. I've done that over and over. Oh, I'm on tour now. You know, I'm thinking back doing the arenas. They, they say, what is he doing now? And da da da, man. We back in the arenas doing what I've always been doing my whole career, man. Like I said, I've been coasting, man. My whole career, I've been coasting. So we've done that. The hit movies, we've done that. The hit albums, we've done that. The hits, the records, the the clothes, the you name it, just. You know what I mean? So when I look at these things, I'm like, damn, why can't I be a WWE champion and throw that on my resume too? Like, you know, I went to the White House, I met Obama. You know what I mean? I've done so much dope, iconic shit. And it's like, I've done everything. What do you, that's why I don't get gifts on Christmas or my birthday. Cause it's like, what do you get somebody that has done everything or that has everything, right? So that's why I saw somebody saying Bowers is rich and bored. I mean, you get that. So that's what I want to do. I want to entertain to my full capability, man, and I'm going to do it. So the WWE is next on my list, and we're going to do it. I'm going to shock the world when I do it. They thought I couldn't sing and dance. Yeah, I ain't know I could dance like that. I'm like a sponge. I just soak everything in. But when I did Mad Singer, the first rapper to make it to the finals, man, I did that. You know what I'm saying? I stepped out my box, and I, 
And I credit Fox so much in that show because doing The Masked Singer, it really made me come out my shell and it really just made me experience It made me not be scared no more. Like too many rappers are too cool. Everything is too cool. They too cool for this, too cool for that. Sometimes I sit back and I, you know, I look at my uncle Snoop and everything, his hands is in. You know what I mean? We gonna do this. And y'all saw me moonwalk and I'm singing whatever you take. So I'm singing rock records, records that I don't know and gotta learn them. And I'm actually with vocal coaches and learning this. So I'm like, if I could do that, I feel like it ain't nothing I can't do. Like, I'm about to really jump off the top rope and elbow a motherfucker. I'm about to do it. So, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm very excited. You know, my son is doing good. I know a lot of y'all be my fans be asking, like, how's your son? He's he's doing so good, big and healthy, big as hell. Getting tall. His mama tall, so this boy already big. Oh, we, we can pull in right here and wait for it. We can back in right here. Man. I'm talking about 12 o'clock, man. She should have just said 1245. You know what, in my mind, yeah, I'm ready to get out. Yeah, man, so we about to really have some fun with this entertainment thing, man. You know, I know a lot of things I might put out, y'all don't, that's why I always got to check in with y'all here on live and, and, and verbally tell y'all instead of tweeting it, because, you know, people be having like this, thing about Bell is just he's wild or he's just thinking crazy what's next what is he gonna do next I like the what is he gonna do next factor but sometimes tweets can be a little bit deceiving and people can take how they want to take it or read it out of context so sometimes I like to go ahead and explain you know I'm ready so when I woke up I was just like you know appreciate it man um when I um when I did that where is this woman at I'm trying to teach my son that. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> What's going on, boss man? I'm just, I'm just waiting on my mom. She said she was here, but she about to walk in. I think about to probably walk in. I'm just waiting on two more. Um, hey y'all, let me call y'all back because uh, I'm meeting my mom for lunch. And she's not here. And I'm so about to, like, get on her about this. So I'm you guys right back. I love y'all. Thank y'all for everything. Like I said, man, we about to get this thing jumping, y'all. So y'all just be ready for it, all right? Gotcha.